In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the water pump on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. Pull this cover off, just get underneath here, lift up, and slide it out. Take an 8 millimeter socket, loosen up the worm clamp right here, and also right here. And using a prying tool, like a trim tool, just get underneath here. You want to separate the hose from the snorkel. Take this hose off here, just pop this off. Just pry that out. Now grab the snorkel, slide it up. There's that bushing right there. Slide it forward and over on the side. And pull that out. We're gonna take the serpentine belt off. You can use a 15 millimeter wrench or a serpentine belt tool. And just slide that off. Release the tensioner and slide the wrench off. And then you can slide the belt off. Remove this cover. You wanna take these four bolts out. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Now we're going to take the stretch belt off. If you're going to replace it, you can just cut it. It's not going to be a big deal. Use just a utility knife or some side cutters. I'm just going to use a prying tool and just go behind here. As I turn the crank, it's just going to pop the belt off. Just be careful. Slid right off and pull the belt off. Now we can reuse it. We're going to remove the belt tensioner. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Take these bolts out. And slide that out. We're gonna take this lower radiator hose. There's no drain on the radiator, so on this vehicle, we'll just take off the hose. You wanna make sure that you have a drain bucket underneath or a catch pan. I'm using some hose clamp pliers to remove the hose clamp. And you can see some of the coolant's coming out. Just give it a wiggle. Pull it off, let it drain. Try to let it drain slowly. Now I'll take off the top hose using the same hose clamp tool. Wiggle that off and just move the hose out of the way. Just using a trim tool, just prying this hose, this clamp out of the way so I can move the hose over there. Now we're going to take the heater hoses off the same way. Some more coolant's gonna come out. Pull those off. 
Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna take these three bolts out on each side. Take the last one out, just support the water pump. And just grab it and slide it out. You're gonna lose some more coolant. Now you wanna clean up the surface area where the water pump gaskets are gonna go. You can use a scraper if you need to, or just wipe it with a rag and some brake parts cleaner. Now take the bolts, get these started. At least two of the bolts. Then you can take the gaskets, put the gasket on. That'll hold just like that. Do the same on this side. Get that lined up. Trying not to tip it so the bolts don't fall out. Get this lined up. Now you can put the other bolts in, get those all started. We're going to start by torquing these to 11 foot-pounds first. Then we're going to go around again and torque these to 22 foot-pounds. Now you want to put the heater hoses on.
line that up. That looks good. And a lower radiator hose. Put the belt tensioner on, line that up, and tighten the bolts down. Tighten those bolts down. And take the upper radiator hose, get that lined up. Slide it in place. That's good. Resecure the retainer. Push that down. Now we're going to put the stretch belt on. Just go over the crank pulley, over to the AC compressor, and up to the top. You can use this special tool to install it. Just line that up. So that's lined up, the tool's on. I'm gonna turn the crank. But you wanna be careful over here near the AC compressor because sometimes it can walk its way off that pulley. So just go around here. this watch your fingers there we go that's lined up lined up all the way around and there we go take the tool off put this shield up We're going to tighten these down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the serpentine belt, go around the crank pulley, around the water pump. On the power steering pump, up to the alternator, and around the tensioner. And we're going to hold this down, and then you can take your wrench on the tensioner, loosen the tension on the belt, and go underneath the idler. Just like that. And just double check, make sure it's around everything properly, all the pulleys. It's gonna be pulled out a little bit. All right, that's good. It's around the crank pulley. Everything's good. Now take the snorkel, line it up. Get that grommet in and then line it up over on the air filter box. All right, that's good. And tighten these down. that hose in, 
lock it down. You can reattach this right there. Make sure those hoses are in those brackets. And put the engine cover on, line it up in the back, and push it down. Now you want to add the appropriate coolant, fill it up to where the full line is, run the vehicle for about 10 or 15 minutes, monitoring to make sure that the engine's not overheating, then shut the vehicle off, let the vehicle cool down, and double check and adjust accordingly. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.